day got covered with some gooey ooze that changed my DNA. Now I try to act normal, keep my cool, my other kids play after school, I turn into a prehistoric hero. I'm in, I'm in, I'm in, in the dino squad, I'm in, I'm in, I'm in, in the dino squad. Today on Dino Squad. Fiona and Roger enter an experimental vehicle race, but a swarm of mutant locosaurs could stop them from crossing the eco-friendly finish line. Here they come, and there they go. Week three in the Get a Life competition, and it appears that neither of our contestants has gotten a life. Let's move in closer to see how they've been wasting their lives. Looks like by creating some kind of strange electronic tray. It's not a tray, Caruso. I'm making a photovoltaic solar cell for power. Speaking of power, my solar cell's shaping up to produce about 15 times the average output. You might as well pack it in right now. I beg to differ, Fee. It's going to be me representing the school in the Earth Day Challenge and not you. Sorry, Raj, but my vehicle design is going to take it. I hope you didn't spend too much time on that, because I'm afraid it's gonna be this bad boy here that I'll represent and bring home the trophy and the cash prize. We'll just see about that. Oh yes, we will. And so, competitive spirit aside, it looks like yet another installment of Get a Life ends with moi being the only one with a life around here. <laughs> As you all know, one of you will be chosen to compete in a multi-state Earth Day celebratory race from Boston, Massachusetts to Akron, Ohio, using only an ecologically friendly vehicle of your own making. The faculty has completed their judging and picked a winner. It's, it's gonna, gonna be, be me! However, Due to a rule change by the Eco Race organizers, it is now a team competition. I am happy to announce Fiona Flagstaff and Roger Blair have won in a dead heat, each scoring 93.7 out of a possible 100 points. Roger and Fiona will be the team that represents Kittery Point High School in the Earth Day Eco Race. A, a team? team? I'm not sure I understand what the problem is here, you two. Don't get me wrong, Ms. M. I'm not upset that the faculty recognized my genius. My score was the same as yours, Roger. I worked really hard on my designs. I did too. The problem is, Ms. M, I had my heart set on making my dreams, my visions, into reality. Into the eco car that would win the race. I had some great ideas. I really wanted to see how they would come out. Well, just make it together. But then it wouldn't be mine. Or mine. Look, there's no changing it now. You're entering the race as a team. The school needs you to work as a team. You can do this. It's going to be great. Hey guys, congrats. How's the eco vehicle coming? It's not. That's because you won't listen. I would listen if your ideas made sense. Well, they're better than your stupid ideas. Yeah, well, your ideas are worthless as well as stupid. How's that? Stupidly worthless ideas. Um, okay, sorry I asked. If you would just look at the way my design uses a carbon beam chassis of composite materials and bulkheads to support the loads integrated into a non-load bearing composite belly pan, you'd see it's better. Child's play. You have to admit the genius of my improved power to weight ratio with my lithium ion battery packs, augmented, I might add, by my sophisticated peak power trackers. I worked really hard on a redesigned trailing arm suspension. That's nothing compared to a new version of a single reduction direct drive I came up with. Guys, guys, chill for a second. You guys are a team. At least you're supposed to be. They're right. We have to get to work. And you have some talent. How about this? You handle the vehicle part, and you handle the high-tech stuff. See, it's all going to work out. Now who's living in a dream world? Experiment E3493C. Inspired by how locust swarms have devastated human civilizations in the past, I am developing a new breed of primordial ooze-enhanced locusts.
ironic how these mutated locusts have so much in common with the pathetic monkeys that swarm all over this planet, destroying everything they set upon, devouring, laying waste to them, and then moving on until nothing is left. These mutated locusts may be a good first step in reshaping the planet and ridding it of the unwanted human occupants. <laughs> Welcome to the third annual Eco Race Challenge! It promises to be quite an exciting race from here in Boston to the finish line in Akron, Ohio! The environmentally friendly vehicles are at the line. Contestants, start your environmentally friendly engines! Get ready and... I can't even see the other contestants. We are in last place by a mile. I'll give you a little hint whose fault this is. And it's not me, Fiona. No way, Raj. Don't be blaming me for something that's clearly your fault. Here they come, and there they go. Past the first checkpoint. The Kittery Point team should be through here any second. Or not. Hmm, where are they? Where are we? I thought the navigator was supposed to be in charge of... Oh, I don't know. <sighs> Navigation? I'm working on it. And do you mean by that you're working on my very last nerve? I'm stopping to ask for directions. You see me? I'm a guy. Guys do not stop for directions. Then where are we, mister? I'm not stopping for directions, guy. I'm on it, but my GPS isn't quite working right. In fact, nothing is working on this thing. Great! You see that? Now we're gonna have to deal with a thunderstorm, too. Yeah, well, you wanna head west on Route 92, but you gotta head north first after heading east a little bit. You're gonna wanna turn at where the old Jenkins farmhouse used to be before it burned down, and you head on for about all three miles to where the giant oak was, uh, the one that got struck by lightning. Huh? Of course, they cut the tree down with some good kindling. Uh, then after that turn, you need to... Roger. You know those dark clouds to the east? Don't tell me. It's not a thunderstorm? Locust! I ain't never seen locust that big! Sir, you need to get out of here and fast. But my truck won't start. Is it a stick? Yep. Pop the clutch. We'll give you a push. Just don't look back, okay? What about you two? We'll be fine. Don't worry. Trust us. Go, Go Dino! Dino! <laughs> Is it Caruso? Are Roger and Fiona in trouble? Huh? Who? Oh, 
No, I'm looking at my favorite fashion website, and I just found out that a certain designer is discontinuing an entire line of pants. It's a crime! Those pants make me look so good. Caruso, we left you in here to track the race. Not the latest fashion trends. I'm sure Fiona and Roger are fine. Here. See? They're in Pennsylvania, right in the middle of a huge mutant sore outbreak. What? Fiona! Roger! Come in! Are you guys okay? You're surrounded by mutant sores! I think we noticed! It's kind of hard to miss a plague of huge locust sores eating everything, and I mean everything, in their path. It's not pretty. We're safe for the moment, but we kind of forgot to pack our chillers and spillers. Stay put. We're on our way. It seems that my mutated locusts have settled down to eat. You two keep tracking them and compile the data in the experiment file. I'm late for a meeting. Oh, they're like eating machines. I can't think of anything I'd rather not be than dessert for those horrible, ugly, disgusting bugosauruses. There's got to be a way to control them. Keep them away. True. True, good idea. Locusts and grasshoppers and cicadas all respond to sound. What about something that could move? Automated. Excellent idea. And it would also create the rhythmic sound we need. Perfect. And it would help if it looked like one of them. At least a little. Right, exactly. Just make sure we keep a running list of the parts and machinery we use so we can pay the farmer back. Hey, check it out. We made a tractor bug. I don't think I like our eco vehicle much at all. Me neither. It's absolutely lame-tastic. I wish I had done better on the wiring for the motor controller. No, it's a great setup, but if you rewire it like this... Dog! I wish I'd thought of that. I wish I'd worked out better hydraulics to reduce brake drag. No, it was a good design, but if you had recalibrated the pressure like this, it would be better. I didn't think of that. Brilliant! You'll increase power by 180% if you rewire the panels in this sequence. Perfect! And these bypass diodes could be moved here for better efficiency. Absolutely! That will double the power return. I wish we had thought of all this earlier. We would have, if we had listened to each other a little more. Just needs a few more spare parts to tie it up. I saw some machinery outside that should do the trick. Except it's outside. I saw it too. Let's get it! Go Dino! 25 years! <laughs> Bugasauruses? Hurry, Roger! You've got a ton of them on your tail! managed to get inside. Finished! Just in time. Now, let's see if our tractor bug here will work. Let's crank it up and clear a path. is a lot of locust sores. They don't call it a swarm or a plague for nothing. Look, Fiona and Roger, whoa! They're gathering all the locust sores together. Looks like it's chilling and spilling time. Don't let the tractor bug die. Check the fuel line. 
So fix me up. Go Dino! Go Dino! 25 million years back. Go Dino! Chillin'! Disgusting? No way! That is so cool! Swimming with locusts! More like swimming in locusts! I think I'm gonna be sick. Can I keep them all? No, Buzz. You cannot keep a swarm of locusts. Where would you put them? Besides, they already belong to someone, and I think we should return them. Well, thanks for the chilling and spilling. We've got a race to finish. Aren't you guys too far behind? You probably already lost. We may be behind. But it's not over till it's over. Plus, we managed to make a few changes to our eco vehicle that might just give us an edge. Here, Here come, come three of the contestants. contestants. It's neck and neck. Oh, wait a minute. It's the, the team from Kittery Point. And they've taken the lead. And they've just won the race. What an amazing finish. All I have to say, wow. I mean, you two came from way behind to win this race. You should be very proud. And I have to say, the whole Wings transformation was truly inspired, especially given the fact that current air travel leaves a very large carbon footprint on the Earth's environment. Very inventive, you two, very inventive. So, I have to ask, whose idea was this anyway? It was hers, she did it. No way, it was his. Actually, I guess we did it together taking each other's ideas and... And perfecting them, together. Awesome! Sounds like a true team effort. Now, who wants to hold the trophy? Huh? Don't know what it is, sir. They said it was a special delivery for you. Open it. Nice work, you two. You really were a team. Well, at least we learned to be one. You know, one of my favorite quotes from my main man, Thomas Edison, is that genius is 1% inspiration and 99% perspiration. I think it ought to be something more like, genius is 1% inspiration and 99% teamwork. Yeah, great, okay, enough with the talky talk. Where's the cash prize you won? Let's break it out, let's start spending. Um, we kind of gave the money away. To someone we thought could really use it. Uh, 
am ruined. My farm is completely ruined. Dear sir, my teammate and I use some of your equipment. Please accept this check as reimbursement and use whatever is left over to cover the destruction caused by the locusts. I'm shaved. I'm shaved! Woohoo! Nice work. Right back at you, teammate. Don't have to be a Dino Squad hero to help save the Earth. Be cool. Reduce, reuse, recycle. Change my DNA.